Whole block Louis, the guy who was shot in the head. You know, I got an update on him. Uh, we all see him on the internet, but it looked like he jumping in the rap game now. I think this is dope. This guy got half his head hanging off his head, you know, and he being real. I got a face mask on, hiding my teeth. This guy got a whole piece of his head hanging off and he's showing the whole world. Now he in front of the camera rapping. I think this strong, you know, Louis don't care what nobody thinks. And I think that's dope. I commend that. But his story, you know, his plight, you know, his, his situation, I always found crazy because I think he took the brunt of the roughest end, if you ask me. You know, the other guys who was down there in Atlanta, they end up losing their life. Some people went to jail, but he was shot in the head. He lost his friends. Uh, he lost his close homeboy. Hell, he had to rehabilitate. Plus, he almost lost his fucking life. I don't think people realize that. Hit the like button. Gold on this video, a thousand likes. Louie in a rap game now. Rapping about killing, murder, jewelry. And he survived the headshot. I do find that wild though. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's smart that he in the rap game because he has a big lane. A lot of people know him. And then King Bond fans gonna easily jump on him. That's how this shit go. You understand what I'm saying? So I think he made the right move. But at the same time, I think he has to be smart because rap bring back some of the same energy that got him in that situation. But you can't always blame that though. I always looked at it as Louie caught the short end of the stick when you really think about it. You know, he wasn't the one that was starting shit. He wasn't the one that had an issue. He was actually caught off guard. King Bond got up, punched Quando Rondo. The shooting happened. Louis almost lost his life. You got to remember, people reported that Louis was dead. You know, God blessed this man, put his hands on him and blessed that man. That man got half his head hanging off his head. And I find that wow. But he posted up a snippet of some new music that he got. But I don't think the music is new. I just think it's new when it come out. It looks like it was recorded before he was shot because I don't see any damage towards his head or anything like that. Guess it's a video that they held for a long time, but he finally promoting it, saying that he finna get ready and drop it with the quote, I'm back on they ass, which means he finna jump right back in this music shit. I ain't gonna lie, when I watch him do interviews and I watch him talk, he kind of got like a small slur to his speech and he kind of think a little bit long before he speak. I think a lot of that come from the headshot. We seen a lot of that happen with Wooski. You gotta remember, two of the biggest members of Ops, O Block and like Tukaville, two of their elite members and like Wooski and L, Louis, both took headshots and survived, you know? I look at it, some people say, man, they slow. I don't think Louis slow. I don't think Wooski slow. I do think the process information might be a little slower. These guys took headshots. Most motherfuckers take a headshot, they not even here no more. You gotta understand, it gonna be some type of damage to the head. But I'm surprised that with the, you know, kind of delay that Louis got that he's gonna be in this rap shit, you know? But I think that's dope, you know, time has passed. It ain't been some years, you know? So, uh, you know, he might be healing up some now, you know? Um, a lot of people want to know, is Louis going to be dissing in his rap songs? You know, if these songs were recorded back in the day, because I'm not going to lie, kind of sound like a King Von song. Kind of sound like King Von ghostwriters the song for him. Or if King Von had a ghostwriter, whoever that was who write for King Von, or if King Von write for himself, then I believe them same people of Von wrote for Louis, because the flow, the cadence, the bars, it kind of matches, you know? But a lot of people want to know, is Louis dissing Puka Bill on this shit? Is Louis dissing the Ops? Is Louis dissing GDs on this shit? Is Louis dissing Quando and them on this? People want to know what kind of music is Louis going to bring to the culture. I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to reach out to him, see if I get an opportunity to interview him. You know, I spoke to Louis several times, but our schedule was never mixed up. Where I was able to get the interview with him. But I'm going to reach out to him again because I think this is strong, you know. A lot of people love King Von and... You know, he like the closest you're going to get to Vine if you're not rocking with his, like his brother's music. Because King Vine brothers and them got music too. They dope. You know, so this about as close as you get to that Vine old block feel is Louis because he was hanging with him every day. You know, that's why I want to bring it to your attention. Do you think Louis need to ball this rap shit up, throw that shit in the garbage, bro? Hell for your head hanging off your head. This shit ain't even worth it. Go on, find you a job. Let's do this shit the right way. Or do you feel like, yeah, Louis needs to jump in this rap shit? Why not? He almost lost his life. He might as well keep Von's name alive, you know? Because I noticed there's a lot of people that's not really rapping as far as keeping King Von's name alive through those rap songs. 
you know yeah we know dirk but dirk not really from oak block as far as like the old block people you know ain't a lot of rappers really rapping and repping king von you know you don't see king von on t-shirts people don't got king von on the chains and you know you, i would have thought we would have seen king von everywhere you know because he brought the fame and the ass to old block like that i thought they would have continued that legacy but it seemed like you know the king von legacy is kind of dying out a little bit as crazy as that sound on the music side not the blog side because people talk about him every day like he's still alive but I wanted to bring to your attention Old Block Louie, the guy who was shot in the head, got a rap song finna get ready and drop. What y'all think about that? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's homie true.